Good evening, staff and students. I'm your host, Alaya Mendoza, welcoming you to our ninth annual Middle School Sports Banquet Virtual Edition. Tonight, we celebrate the tireless effort our middle school teams have put in all year long. This amazing season wouldn't have been possible without our athletic director. Now here is Carlos Bazael to start up the night. Hi, everyone. Welcome to tonight's Middle School Athletic Award Ceremony. Usually around this time of year, we're getting ready for not just one, but two galas. One for the middle school, one for the high school. This year, we had to do things a little different, but we still think it's very important to honor the student athletes. We've met with our coaches. They've made their decisions. We've ordered the trophies. Now, looking forward to next year. We've met with our coaches. Some equipment's been ordered. Facilities are being maintained. We look forward to seeing you soon. But for now, enjoy the video that's coming up. Have a good night. It's important to recognize the leaders within our teams. Presenting our first award of the night is girls soccer coach Shahid Saban announcing our leadership award. I'm coach Shahid. I'll be re uh, presenting the leadership award. Being the leader of a team is not just being about the best player on the field or, or the court. It's about understanding the team concept and being the coach's voice. Having a clear understanding of dedication and sacrifice in practice, but most importantly in the off season where no one is looking. It's about being a leader in the classroom and on the field, setting the example for teammates. Being the leader is not a popularity contest. It's knowing when to push your teammates and be tough on them, but understanding when they need words of encouragement, sacrificing stats for the success of the team, being willing to play any position. The following players embody all these characteristics and have represented the RAL Academy with great pride. The winners of the 2019-2020 Middle School Leadership Awards are Volleyball, Angelina Napoleoni. Cross country, Christopher Humphrey. For boys, girls, Camila Ruiz. Swim, for boys, Ignacio Fernandez. Girls, Isabella Perea. Wrestling, Arturo Sanchez. Girls soccer, Alyssa Rodriguez. Boys soccer, Ander Jordan. Cheer, Chantel Fierro. Football, Anwar Herrera. Softball, Leani Virouette. Baseball, Daniel Rodriguez. Within all teams, there are those who show the most love, passion, and determination. Our very own swim coach, Kathy Silvera, will now present the awards to the athletes who display a true heart of a champion. Now I'm very honored to be able to talk to you about Middle School Heart of a Champion Awards. The Heart of a Champion Award is selected by each coach and it's based on not just the athletic ability of their athletes, but it's more about the overall athlete, the teamwork, the adaptability, dedication, perseverance, honor, integrity. In essence, the Heart of a Champion Award goes to an athlete that never gives up. So we're going to go ahead and start with volleyball. The Volleyball Heart of a Champion Award is Donatella Pareo from JAM. Cross Country, Rodrigo Rodriguez. Gabriela Valdez. The Swim Heart of a Champion Award, Sebastian Soto. Carolina Guillen. For Wrestling, Ethan Toro, girls soccer, Mary Grace Cardell, boys soccer, Enzo Malatesta, cheer, Emily Rodriguez, football, Sebastian Perez, softball, Laura Nali, and finally for baseball, Christian Ponte. Congratulations to all these athletes. With every season comes new players, along with new potential. Here to announce our Rookie of the Year award is girls basketball coach Crystal Cabrera. 
Rookie of the Year is an award given to an athlete that is judged as the most accomplished player in their first season as a member of their sports team. This award is for the freshman or the newcomer whose effort is never in question and possesses a strong hidden quality, which is heart. They embrace their team, continue the legacies laid before them, wear their school colors with pride, and stay pursuant of their goal of becoming a better athlete, which contributes to their team's success. The following athletes have been selected as this year's Rookie of the Year. For volleyball, Camille Sosa. For cross country, Nicholas Quartas and Amalia Dibsi. For swimming, Jesus Hernandez Ruiz and Valentina Alvarez. For wrestling, Rylan Rodriguez. For girls soccer, Mariana De La Rosa. For boys soccer, Sergio Pereyo. For cheer, Janice Gruyong. For football, Owen Pereyo. For softball, Ariana Alonso. And for baseball, Orlando Esteve. Even though each team has its own valuable players, there's always one that stands out from the rest. To close off our show, our coaches will be giving some final words to these deserving athletes. Boys Soccer MVP. It is great pleasure that I nominate this player who never fails to impress me. He's been my captain for two years, a middle school player for three years. Uh, he dominates his position both defensively and offensively as a holding centre midfielder. The MVP for boys soccer goes to Jose Pacifico. Congratulations, Jose. I am Coach Shahid. I will be presenting the 2019 Middle School Football Most Valuable Player Award. In the 17 years I have been a coach, I have been blessed to coach some extremely talented and gifted athletes on and off the field. This young man is no exception. He has, been a, he has shown a great understanding of the game and the system we as coaches have tried to implement. He plays well beyond his years. He works extremely hard in practice and he shows on game day. He was a voice on the field, constantly making sure players are in the right position and have an understanding of what they need to do to be successful. He knows when to be tough on his teammates, but also understands when they need words of encouragement. He excels both in the classroom and on the field. He is selfless and the true definition of what it means to be a teammate and a leader. To put it simply, he is a coach's dream player and what we call a once in a lifetime player. I have no doubt he will be successful in all his endeavors. The 2019 middle school football player, most football most valuable player is Sawyer Bartelt. I'd like to present the MVP award to a player that was a role model to all her teammates. She showed everyone that by getting out of your comfort zone, you can grow and become a better player every day. She led her team to a lot of wins and held their heads up through tough losses. The MVP award for the 2019-2020 middle school volleyball season goes to Camila Gámez. This award is for MVP for girls middle school cross country. This little lady continuously came in as the school's top runner in her races. She showed improvement in every race until finally reaching her ultimate goal. She ended the season by representing Doral Academy very well and meddling at one of the biggest invitationals. This year's girls MVP for cross country goes to Haley Gonzalez. Congratulations. This award is for MVP for middle school boys cross country. This particular individual is extremely talented. Only his first year and he already medaled in every race, proving to be not only the best on the team, but also among the best in the county. He also qualified to the state meet in his very first race of the season. MVP for middle school boys cross country goes to Nicholas Cuartas. Congratulations. The middle school MVP wrestler award. This wrestler has uh, worked very hard all year wrestling alongside the middle schoolers and the high schoolers. He is undefeated at the middle school division. 
He also won the county title, the first student in Doral history to ever win it. The MVP wrestler for middle school is David DeArmas. Good evening. I'm here to award the most valuable swimmer, or MVP, to our leading swimmer for the middle school boys swim team. This young man is a competitor through and through. He can tell you the times and the best times of other swimmers he will compete against. This is called research. He watches them at meets to see if they have a weakness that might help him. And then he just concentrates on doing what the coach asks him to do. He loves being a part of the team and he loves the sport of swimming. And this helps him tremendously and our team to be one of the hardest training and fastest swimmers out there. It is my pleasure to award to Oliver Tejada the Most Valuable Swimmers Award. Hi, I'm here and it is my pleasure to award the Most Valuable Swimmer for girls in the middle school Firebirds team. This young lady is all about winning. She's all about pushing herself to her very limit and sometimes beyond. At every meet, she arrived to swim her best and to win for her team and her teammates. She loves the sport and is a true sportswoman. Her race doesn't slow until her hand hits that wall, and then she thrusts it across each lane on either side to congratulate and thank her com competitors. This is our most valuable swimmer for the women's class, Chiara Lecurica. Today, we're here to acknowledge Megan Villasong, our junior varsity most valuable player. An incredible player to have been able to coach, had the honor to be able to be around. She's such an incredible player with a great attitude, great amount of leadership. She was able to help our younger girls, which we had a lot of this year, able to work together with others. You know, someone who you can tell is great on and off the field. She's great with her family members, great with her teammates, great with her friends at school. Someone who works real hard at school and everything she does, and it really does show throughout her playing, the way she helps the older girls as well as the younger girls. And it's just someone who's great to be around. I'm very excited to see where she goes in the future. I know she's gonna be successful wherever she ends up because people with that kind of work ethic and attitude just always find a way to get through what they need to do and she's just got it. She's, got, she's one of those players who's a special player to work with, and I'm extremely honored to have been able to coach her and learn from her as much as she was able to learn from me. Most valuable player always wants to strive to be the best. This young lady has come into our program giving us 100% and always wanting more. She was always ready to practice and very focused. This year's MVP is Stephanie Gonzalez. My name is Marcos Hernandez. Middle school baseball coach. My MVP is Miguel Gonzalez. I select him because he helped the team offensively and defensive to win games. This is the reason I select him as my most valued player. Stay at home and be safe. Thank you. What's a Dural Academy event without our very own principal? To finish off this night with some final remarks, here is the man himself, Mr. Ferraz. Good evening, Firebirds. I would like to first begin by thanking our athletic directors, uh, Coach Perez and Coach Bazail, as well as the administrator in charge of athletics, Mr. Gonzalez. Uh, I know in order to run such an amazing and successful athletic program, it takes a lot of hard work and dedication. Uh, I would also like to recognize uh, individuals that put in a lot of hard work day in and day out for our, athletic, uh, for our athletes, our athletic trainers, Shanice Jackson and Mr. Muller, as well as the assistant trainers, uh, those student trainers work a, a lot of uh, hours and put in a lot of time, and I, I want to thank them for all the work they did, for all the work they do. We had 19 first-team all-county players. We had two players of the year and two coaches of the year. We had 24 athletes receiving athletic scholarships and taking their athletic endeavors to the next level. Unfortunately, our season and our year came to a halt because of the pandemic, and I know that as a community, as Firebirds, we will deal with this and we will get past this together. The reason for our athletic success is because of those coaches that we have. We have an amazing uh, set of coaches. Uh, the athletes are committed to, 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 our to our academics and our athletics. And then the parents, parent commitment 
is huge. We understand the commitment that it takes as parent to be able to, to have a student athlete. Uh, we, we thank you for your support in Doral Academy uh, as ac academics as well as athletics. In order to be a student athlete at Doral Academy, you need to be special. You need to put in the amount of time that you put in for athletics, you need to put it into to school as well because we have an expectation, same expectations that you have in the athletic fields, we have it in the classroom. I want to thank parents uh, once again for, for your support. It truly is a, a team effort and it is because we work together uh, that we make this accomplishment. Truly amazing to think about the fact that we are one of the highest performing schools academically and continue to be one of the top sports schools in the state of Florida. That's a true testament to all of you. I would like to congratulate all of you and thank you for another memorable year. We truly enjoyed every bit of it. I would like to thank everyone for the work and commitment to making Doral Academy the best. Thanks for an amazing year and look forward to many more memories in the years to come. Thank you and God bless.